So technically, the wind advisory is going to expire soon, but yeah, that doesn't mean that we aren't going to see uh, wind lingering. The wind advisory for winds at 50 expires at 8 a.m., but the reality is wind is going to linger into your Friday night, into your Saturday, and we'll take a look at some model guidance for that in just a bit. You can see much of New Jersey getting a break, so that is good news. But there's another batch coming in before we're done with lunch. And you can see some heavier rain. That'd be around Danbury. Follow that line down. Uh, Northport just had that nasty little cell. That's going to skip over the sound. And then if you follow this line, so between Islip, Brookhaven, Patchogue, Sayville, all of this, this is going to come on board. It'll weaken somewhat, but you've got the wind and you've got isolated storms, copious amounts of rain. Thankfully, while rainfall rates are high, it doesn't linger. I mean, these things are flying through here, but it's part of a very big system. That's why we're concerned about persistent wind. And with heavy rain, that wind through Saturday, you could lose a few limbs here and there. Want to show you some of the guidance for the showers. By lunchtime, we have this next line pushing through. That'll slow you down midday. But again, it doesn't linger. It's not a washout. You'll see some sun too, son. And then if you're going out tonight, you're in okay shape. Saturday's just a little unsettled. Cool enough for snow for parts of Pike and Sullivan County? I know. And then these stray showers. Uh, again, real quick movers, but it's going to be windy and it's going to stay windy. So much better by Saturday night and then Sunday morning, fine. But by Sunday night, you've got some showers. So if that's a travel period or that's home, make sure you're ready for that. Wanted to show you the GFS is always crazy aggressive with the wind, but it has these 50, 60, 70 mile an hour winds through this morning. Watch what happens. Winds slow down and it's a drier wind, but it just stays breezy right through your Saturday. And remember, it's going to tap into cooler air. So you go from 65 today to 56 tomorrow. The other thing that's blowing around, how you doing? Tree pollen way up there. Grass is way up there. Stuff's flying around. So you got to make sure that you are ready for that. Leave some extra time if there's some place you absolutely positively have to be on time for this morning. And then Saturday, Chris, you know what? But if it ain't raining, we ain't training. Yeah. It's going to be a little unsafe. Settled. Right. It's a little unsettled. Sunday's better, and then Monday, Tuesday look great. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hate to make this all about my football team, but we have a <laughs> one o'clock kickoff in Northern mm -hmm. Jersey. You gotta get this the, timing right, John. As long as it's a quick mover, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. Saturday they're quick movers. Yeah. It's just gonna be a lot cooler. Okay. That's right. Thank oh. you, John.